Shrimp scampi. Hey pond people, Blake here with Pondscapes of Charlotte. Today on a cloudy day, we are going to be installing a larger size recreational pond aerator for the uh, pond behind us. One of our favorite clients, they've got a really nice, beautiful pond with a gazebo. Um, so today we're going to be trying to uh, enhance the water quality and the, qu and the clarity as well too with an aerator. Uh, we'll be having to get in the water today. Didn't bring our kayak unfortunately and we're gonna be digging a trench as well for the uh, pipes and everything. So hang out and check it out. What's up pond people? Like Blake just finished describing, we are gonna be putting an aerator in this huge and beautiful earthen bottom pond today. The homeowner is a fan of kind of the basic calm, peaceful, tranquil look. So the aerator is not gonna be anything too big and showy and flashy. It's gonna just kind of get the water moving. You can kind of see this film that's been collecting on the surface of the water. We wanna get more motion in it, just to keep it healthier and happier overall. So that's the goal for today. The guys are gonna start by planning out where to dig the trench so that we can get the hose over from the aerator that we have hidden to the pond. You come right here following the wood line to right here. Yeah. You'll be all right. Right here. Even yeah. if you if, even if you just come to here, we can go straight from here. Okay. And connect our own. I don't want the casino. Oh. We were thinking about putting the final. The other thing. And that was more than enough communication to get the guys all on the same page. So Braden and Joe are going to go ahead and start weighing down the diffusers with rocks. While Blake and Chente are going to clear out a spot for that aerator to sit. We're trying to hide it a little bit in the tree line. So Blake's getting that thing moved nice and easy. DJ Braden's hitting the turntables pretty hard right here. And now that he doesn't have it cross-threaded, we're getting those things nice and secured. Play in the water and drag it. See if it stays flat. Braden sort of snuck up on me there while I was doing my routine hose patrol, but now he's taking one for the team and getting that hose put out into the water, getting it around this big log that's submerged. Got to get that hose situated in a good spot so we can get the aerator and diffusers connected. <laughs> Braden's going full Aquaman mode to get this thing secured. He's trying to get the diffusers into the middle as much as possible, as you can tell from that last clip. Um, we're trying to get one diffuser to do most of our work because the homeowner does not want too much disruption in the pond. Shrimp scampi. Right here. I hit the pole. <laughs> That's why I stopped. <laughs> And I had to put in this absolutely immaculate clip of Brayden emerging from the pond. He looks like some sort of kaiju from Godzilla or like a punk rock cowboy swamp man. It's just too perfect. I had to put it in. So you're welcome. Like I said earlier, the homeowner kind of likes this pond to stay natural and to just kind of keep it simple and very, you know, nothing too exotic going on with it. So... There's a lot of bluegill, and when I say a lot of bluegill, I mean a lot of bluegill. Um, they're native to North Carolina, very common fish, and the homeowner loves her bluegill. So, um, you know, there's just an entire society of them living in this pond, but it's pretty cool to see them all schooled up. And now that the hose and diffusers are settled in the water, the guys are quad teaming the trench we gotta dig to get the hose uh, buried outside of the water. Um, let's go down the line here. We got the dark blue ranger. We got the orange ranger from the shovel tip there, and Chente's rocking the red ranger. And then we got Joe on saw duty, and when the camera pops out, productivity increases 10%. Look at that speed increase. And the aerator we're rocking with comes with this prefabbed green box, which is nice. I'm gonna pop the hood for any of you guys that are interested in what's going on underneath. Some important crouched position decisions are being made here. As you know, the most important decisions are made in a crouched position. So these guys are trying to figure out the best way to do the final hookup for the tubing. We've got all the stuff we need, we just gotta figure out the most efficient way and we've got a couple options. So that's what they're deciding right here, right now. Oh, Lord have mercy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go back to the truck. <laughs> <That's a problem. laughs> 
Chente giving me a thumbs up here. He's always bringing a good attitude to work. And it might look like he's just standing there right now, but I promise you that man is waiting for his turn to get back at it. He's an absolute machine. Just the top. <laughs> Yeah, so I told Blake I needed one clip of him digging the trench, and that's the kind of behavior he showed. So he's off trench digging duty. But as you can see, we were able to get that trench dug and buried back, and the line is all the way to the edge of the water, hidden pretty well. Speaking of hidden pretty well, the green prefab box is coming in handy when it comes to blending in this aerator with the woods. We got it hidden behind a couple of plants here. And this is the finished product. The aerator and diffusers are not meant to like cause a big bubbling geyser. It's not meant to be a fountain. It's just supposed to get a little bit more motion in the water to help the ecosystem out. Get some of that film moving around so it's not sitting at the top of the water. And it's just going to help oxygenate it, which is going to make the bluegill in there a lot happier. So overall, I'd say this was a pretty great day. And the guys did a great job of getting it done. All right, pond people, we are finished up. We have got the aerator in the pond. Our boy Braden was the one who uh, took one for the team, jumped in the pond for us and got the aerator situated, perfectly centered. Um, already starting to see some of the gunk being pushed to the side, which is a good sign that it's working, doing exactly what we want it to do. Um, we've got our uh, actual pipe going down underneath to where the air is actually being pulled in, um, into the motor disguised it well I think we did a really good job excited to see what the homeowner thinks about the uh, the quality and the enhancement of the water and uh, we'll see you all on the next one thanks again hey guys I appreciate you all staying to the end of the video uh, be sure to like comment subscribe uh, and we will see you on the next video peace